Is it possible to light a match or burn paper or even start a fire using steam? Let's find out. Hey folks, uh, what we have here is an interesting experiment I want to do with boiling water. Now, what I'm doing here is using this small homemade induction heater to boil water in this can to make steam. And most people know that water boils at 100 degrees centigrade or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's, it's pretty hot, it can burn you. And, but is it strong enough to light a match or burn paper? Well, let's just, let's just try this match. There's not a whole lot happening here with the match. And if anything, it's making the match head totally wet and non-flammable. Same thing I, I think would go with paper. It's not going to do a whole lot with paper. As you can see, it just gets it wet. Now, what if I was to increase the temperature of that steam to several hundred degrees centigrade? Now, it is possible to heat water to 3,000 degrees centigrade before it breaks down. So, what I want to attempt to do here is superheat the steam coming out of that pipe and see what it's capable of doing. What I want to do is try and see if it will burn paper or even uh, light paper on fire and whether it will light a match. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do here is use this flame over here, which I have going, and I've got it to about the right height where I can direct it into that coil of copper tubing. So that's what I'm going to do right now is move this so that the flame is hit hitting the copper tubing and we can even kind of increase the, the heat in the flame if I um, just raise it just a tad bit up. What I'm aiming to do here is to get superheated steam. Now as you'll notice it's still in the form of steam so it's not yet superheated but once it gets superheated, you shouldn't see all this vapor, this visible vapor coming off. Now let's do this again, see if we can light this match. Now let's see if I can burn paper with it. Here goes. Look at that. actually burning paper. Look at that, the paper's actually smoking with the steam hitting it. Okay, now I have here some flammable paper. It's got some um, potassium nitrate in it. Let's see if it'll light this. Bigger. Look at that. Totally lit that. Uh, Alright, let's do one more. Let's do another man. So there you go. Using superheated steam with this steam generator. But right at the tip, you don't want to put your hand near that because that temperature is several hundred degrees. Just like the steam is basically equivalent to a flame. So you've got to be super careful not to burn your hand with it. All right, I'm going to turn off the flame and it should go back to normal 100 degrees centigrade steam as soon as I turn off the gas. Here we go. It's still, the piping is still hot, but as you can see, it's starting to show a lot more vapor, which means that its temperature is dropping. I found this experiment really interesting. It shows how much heat you can transfer using steam. It's incredible. Well, thanks for watching, folks, and I uh, hope you uh, come back 
for more experiments, I thought this one would be really interesting just to show the amount of energy that can be transferred in something as simple as steam.